So there are two forms of excision. There's the standard or wide local excision and a staged excision. Staged excisions are typically reserved for melanomas that occur in areas where tissue sparing is important. This involves most commonly the face, but can also involve other areas, including the hands, the feet, and the top of the legs. In a staged excision, the area is numbed using local anesthesia. The standard margins, which means normal appearing skin around the lesion, are marked and subsequently removed. As opposed to the standard excision, where the wound is immediately sutured closed, after it's been excised, the staged excision involves leaving the wound open until the pathology lab confirms that margins are clear. This typically takes several days. You are educated on how to clean and take care of your wound during this time to prevent infection or bleeding. Occasionally, we find out that the margins from the first staged excision are not clear in which case we can go back to the wound, only go back to the areas that are positive for the skin cancer and remove additional tissue. This is much easier because the wound is still open and has not been sutured closed. Once margins are completely confirmed to be clear, then suturing can proceed. That is the main difference between a staged excision, which can take several surgeries to obtain clear margins, with the final surgery being for suturing, as opposed to a standard excision where tissue sparing is not as important and everything from the removal to the suturing is completed in one procedure. Mohs micrographic surgery is not the same thing as a staged excision for several reasons. Mohs micrographic surgery is typically used for non-melanoma skin cancers. These involve most commonly basal cell and squamous cell carcinomas. These lesions are very easy to process in our frozen section lab, which is often within the Mohs surgical suite. Staged excisions typically are used for melanoma and atypical moles, typically on areas of the face or places where we're trying to spare tissue removal. These lesions are very sensitive to cold and are not easily processed in the frozen section laboratory. Because of that, they have to be sent to a different lab which is why the processing takes several days. That is why the entire procedure cannot occur in one morning, which is the typical case for a Mohs micrographic surgery. While we are currently using staged excision to remove melanomas on the face, the goal and the current areas of research are involving ways in which we can start to apply the same frozen section techniques that we use for Mohs micrographic surgery to melanoma. The goal would be to come up with a way to then have a single day procedure, Mohs micrographic surgery, not only for basal cells and squamous cells, but also for melanoma.